In this video, I will show you how to download a program called SQLite Browser uh, for the purpose of executing SQL queries. In class, we've been completing queries in MS Access, but this program will give you a nice user interface and place to complete SQL queries without the use of MS Access. So the first thing we want to do is open up the link provided on Learning Suite. So sqlitebrowser.org. And once I go to that site, I can see downloads for different machines. If you are running Windows, make sure you get the right version. I'm running Windows 64. So I will download that version. Once it's downloaded, I will install the program. So hit next. I'll accept the agreement. Now remember where you store your program files. So I'm going to store mine on my D drive in program files SQLite browser 3. Hit next. And I'm going to choose to make a start menu folder. That's perfectly fine, but you can also choose to not create shortcuts. So I'll hit install. And when that's complete, I will run the program. So hit finish. And you'll see that the program pops up. So we have different options here. We can create a new database. We can open a database, which is what we'll want to do. Um, we can execute SQL. So why don't we go ahead and go back to Learning Suite and download the Gold Star database. Okay, so we want to download this file right here, goldstar.db. I'm going to show it in the folder and move it to a place where I know I can find it. So I'm going to put it in my class folder right here. And then close that. So now you may or may not have a uh, shortcut for the program. If you don't have a shortcut for the program, what you'll have to do is go into the place where you've stored it. So I stored it on my D drive under Program Files under SQLite Browser 3 and it will be in the bin folder. So again, this is if you do not have the shortcut on your start menu. The file that you want to run is the executable here and I will pin it to my taskbar so that I can easily open up the program again if I need to. Let's close that. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the database, we can upload it into the program. So let me maximize this. Go to Open Database, and I'll go to, again, you need to remember where you stored it. So I'll go ahead and open the goldstar.db file. And you'll notice if I go back to database structure, I can see the entire schema right here. And if I uh, undo the drop downs here, I can see how the data is stored. So notice that I changed some of the field names. So none of the field names have spaces in them. So when you're querying the table, you will need to check to see what data type each field is and what the field names have been changed to. So for example, last name, which was capitalized with spaces, is now last name, all lowercase, no space. So I'll show you one example of executing a SQL query before we go. So for example, if I want to see all of the data in the position table, we can do select, notice it also offers autocomplete. So select star from position. Again, it pulls up the table. And remember in class I said that you think you're so clever when you finish a SQL statement that you have to wink. 
So you put the semicolon at the end, and then in order to run that statement or a batch of statements, you can either click on this play button, hit the F5 key, or hit control return. So I'm going to hit F5, and notice it tells you what happened at the bottom and how long it took, so four rows returned from the query that we ran, and here are the query results. So you can see all of the data and all the fields and records in the position table. So we'll talk more about this in class, and now you have a tool readily available to you to practice your SQL queries on your own.